So many of us love the great outdoors. We love camping in nature. For a lot of us out there, including you guys, it may involve owning an RV. Now, we have owned both a travel trailer and now a motorhome. And the questions always come up, which RV is gonna be perfect for your situation? So in this video, we are gonna be talking about travel trailer versus a motorhome. If you don't know us, I'm MJ, this is Izzy, and we are Endless RVing. We're the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So this is gonna be a two-part series. This is part one. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when part two hits the waves. So let's get right into this. Number one, what everybody always asks is gonna be the price. Now, generally speaking, a motorhome or anything motorized is going to be more expensive than a travel trailer. Now, there are exceptions to every rule. For example, if you buy some of the bigger Airstreams, they are upwards of $140,000, $50,000. That will be more expensive than most entry-level motorhomes. But if you're gonna go high-end motorhome versus high-end travel trailer, motorhome's gonna be much more expensive in initial purchase price. Next is a big one, maintenance. This was one reason we almost didn't go the motorized route. So you have so many more things on a motorhome that you have to maintain. Your engine, your chassis, oil changes, brakes, things like that. So for example, every year we have to make an appointment for Nelly. We go in, we get the chassis grease, you know, she gets her little spa days and things like that. You're not doing that on a travel trailer. And touching on that also, if you have a generator, most motorized vehicles, RVs, they're gonna have a generator. They're gonna have a battery bank they're gonna have more complicated systems generally so that's all more maintenance more expensive if something goes wrong okay the next thing a lot of people don't think about it is going to be fuel costs whether you're gas or diesel most of the time it's going to be you're going to get less miles per gallon with a motorhome now there are exceptions to that if you have a little you know class B, tiny little thing, you're gonna get good gas mileage. But if you are trailing or uh, towing a trailer, we used to get about 13 miles per gallon, which is pretty bad. On a motorhome, on a good day, we get about 7.4 and we're gas. If we're on a diesel, you're even more expensive. Right, diesel fuel is way more expensive. Okay, the next thing is amount of use. How much are you gonna use this thing, all right? When we first got our travel trailer, we were doing some weekends here and there. We didn't have big plans like we do now. We were taking longer trips. When we decided to take trip to was Disney, we were mm -hmm. planning a trip to Disney, Izzy said, I, I don't really wanna drive the trailer down to Disney. So that's when we really started thinking about, maybe we should look into a motorized because it's gonna make traveling much easier. So how much are you using it? If you're going just weekend trips here and there, travel trailer might be great for you. If you're planning on going cross country, a, mo a motorized might be a better choice. And also, not only the distance, but what style of camper are you? Are you a seasonal? Do you go to one spot every weekend? You have a seasonal spot there. You may be better off with a, a travel trailer because it's cheaper. Some of them are, are pretty big and you don't really need to move them. Additionally, how much are you actually using this unit? One of the worst things, we talked about this in other videos regarding both travel trailers, but especially motorized, is lack of use. Not using it, lack of use. If, the, if it's sitting in your driveway, that's a recipe for disaster. With the motors, generators, your tires are gonna get eaten up. So if, if you're not using it that much, spend a little bit less money, get the travel trailer, because the expenses are gonna be much greater on a motorized unit. So the next one is space. This one is kind of a draw. You could have a 45 foot class A, you could have a class B that's you know half the size. You could have a 35 foot trailer, you could have a teardrop. So it really depends on what you're looking at in terms of space. Okay, the next one is gonna be luxury amenities and comfort drivability. Now, again, we have owned both of them. For us, hands down, drivability is gonna to go to the motorhome. So when we drove our trailer, the max was like four hours. When, when who drove our trailer? When I drove the right. trailer. Max was I four was hours. <laughs> it, was, it was just 
it was fatiguing. Like it was physically and mentally fatiguing. The wind blowing you, we had anti-sway bars, all that stuff, uh, whatever. We've driven the motorhome up to 18 hours. Now we don't recommend that, mm -hmm. but we can, regularly, <laughs> we can regularly drive six to eight hours without a problem right. if we switch off. Now talking about luxury and amenities, again, traditionally, on a motorhome, you are gonna have more amenities. You're gonna have hard countertops, you know? You're gonna have some of the marble countertops and real backsplashes with tile and granite and tile floors. It's just, you're gonna get a lot more choices in a motorhome versus a trailer. It's what you want. And then we have insurance. In most cases, your insurance costs on a motorized are going to be higher. Yeah, it's simply because it's usually gonna cost more to repair and replace a motorhome. But in addition to insurance, you're gonna have registration mm -hmm. fees, which mm -hmm. are going to be more on a motorhome, and you're gonna have titling fees. A motorhome you has to be inspected every year or three years or five years or whatever your state is. If you have a diesel motorhome, there's even more mm -hmm. restrictions on that. So all across the board, pretty much on a motorized unit, it's gonna be more expensive as, as far as fees. So make sure to subscribe because part two is coming at you soon. In the comments below, what do you like better, a travel trailer or motorhome and why? And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.